God is bringing you two back together. Hallelujah. The Lord says, as you told you, he is bringing you two back together. This is the word on declaration, sweet Lynette. If this is your first time seeing me or coming across my channel, you are very much welcome. Thank you so much for taking a pause to listen to this ministration. I pray as you stay connected, as you listen till the end, you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe so you'll become part of this awesome family and as for those who have been connected to this channel for a very long time i appreciate you all so much god will bless you trust me god is going to do it for you whatsoever it is that you desire from god as you have been connected consistent to this channel i pray that you will not go unrewarded in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this word that is about to come forth. Lord, you said the entrance of your word brings light and understanding to the simple. Lord, I pray for everyone that is listening to me right now. May they open their spirits and whatsoever this prophetic word is concerned, Lord, may it resonate with them and may you give them a solution that will bring, bring them peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says he is bringing you two back together. This is someone you love so much. In fact, you both were in love with each other. From the beginning of this relationship, everything was perfect. Everything was going on so smoothly and you couldn't stand a day without seeing this person. That is how much you loved each other. But when the relationship kept going on, you started discovering some things about your partner. You started seeing some things that did not sit well with you. And each time we try to correct this person, each time we try to tell them what they're doing is not right, they feel like you're trying to bring them down. It got to a point where you both started quarreling. It got to a point where you both started fighting and it was getting too much. You decided to take a break. This is a reason why God will tell you sometimes do not get into a relationship right now and you feel like, no, God is wasting your time. You feel like you cannot stay for a month or for a year without a partner. But the reason why God is telling you to wait is because he has seen that there are some things about you that if you get into a relationship right now, this relationship is going to be a disaster. I've seen a lot of people who have lost meaningful relationships just because they didn't have the capacity, just because they didn't have the wisdom to accommodate their partner. Right now, where your partner is, they are still in love with you. And God says he is bringing you two back together because you two are meant to be together. The only reason why you people got separated is because you people met at the wrong time. You people met at a time where you both were not mature. When you get into a relationship with someone without an understanding, a relationship is not just about love. A relationship takes more than love to keep. You have to learn how to accommodate a lot of things about your partner, but these are the things you didn't know. You were focused just on the love and how you felt at the moment. But the Lord says, I should tell you, grace has been made available for you. He is bringing you two back together. I pray that whatsoever wants to come between you two again. We abolish it in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray God give you wisdom to accommodate your partner. I pray God also gives your partner the wisdom to accommodate your flaws in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all so much for being a part of this session. I hope you received this word with gladness. Please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so when next I upload new content, you will be the first to know. I love you all so much, family. And see you in our next session. God bless you. Shalom.